This is a short tutorial using this template for you to create a can design. In this tutorial, what I'm going to be asking you to create is this. You'll find the file here. If you go to the student shared, to student, media studies, GCSE 2016, year 9, marketing can design, can design template. And if you open that, that will bring you to the Photoshop file you'll need for this lesson. In the same folder, you'll also find this file, Photoshop Starter Guide, which will explain in more detail some of the things we're going to explore in this video. The first thing we're going to be doing is colouring the background of the can. So we need to make sure that we are selecting the correct area to colour in. So I'm going to click on this layer here, High Resolution, and I'm going to select my magic wand tool. It's the fourth button down and it should look like a magic wand. If yours doesn't look like this, if you click and hold on this button, you can select magic wand tool here. Usually, if you want to select a particular shape, you would click within it. However, this shape is made up with lots of different parts. So instead, what we're going to do is select the outside. This will select everything other than the can. And I'm going to tell it to select inverse. Inverse means the opposite, so everything other than what I currently have selected. So now I have the can selected. And I want to create a fill layer. So I go to layer on the bar at the top and down to new fill layer. Now depending what I want to do, I might choose solid colour, which will colour it in one solid colour, gradient, moving from one colour to another, or pattern, and that would put in a certain pattern in the background. But I want you to choose gradient. You can call your layer whatever you would like. I'm going to call mine background pan colour. Now I'm going to click OK. So here you'll have your gradient fill options. I'm going to click the down arrow. Now these first two will be based on the colour you've got selected in here. Now I've got black, so this one is black to white, black to clear, and then this one will always be black to white. And what I would like you to select is red to green. Now this is linear, which means it goes from one colour to the other. You might want it to be radial, which means it starts at one colour and goes out in a circle. Angle, where it starts in one colour and as it goes round in a full circle, it changes to the other colour. Reflected, where you have one band in the middle and it's reflected either uh, both up and down. Or diamond, where it starts with a diamond in the centre. We're going to choose reflected. If your colours are the wrong way round and you have green in the centre, click the reverse button and it will change it over. Then click OK. Now you'll notice that the background of this can is much more solid than this one. That's because it's at the top of this layers panel. What you're going to do is pull this by clicking and drag it and drop it into the artwork folder. That will take it below this layer, which has got all of the shininess on top of it, so that your can will now look like this. An image onto our can, you need to have that image in a different file. So in the same folder, open the file called Cute Fruit. This is a picture of a melon that we're going to use to put as a border between the colours on our can. So we're going to do exactly the same with your magic wand tool. You're going to select the outside and then select inverse. This will select the melon picture. Now using my keyboard shortcut, command C, that will copy this image. I'm going to go back into can design and use my shortcut command V, which will paste this image in. You'll see in the layers panel that it's created a new layer here. 
Now this melon isn't exactly where I want it, so I'm going to select the Move tool at the top of my taskbar, which will create a box around my image and give me all of these handles. The problem I've got here is that the image is quite small, so it's difficult to grab to drag it. So what I'm going to do is zoom in. So I'm going to go to View and Zoom In, which will make it a bit closer. Then I'm going to click on the image I want to move and drag it to where I want it. I think about there is right. I'm going to hit enter so that the program knows that that's where I want it. And now I can create copies. So I'm going to use my shortcut, Control C, and then Control V, which is paste, will give me another image. And you'll see again it's created another layer. So what I'm going to do here is continue to drag these where I want them. Now I also want this row of melons along the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these layers together by clicking on the top one, pressing my shift key and clicking on the bottom one. And I'm going to right click and select duplicate, which means copy, layers. And I'm just going to click OK. And you'll see they're all named exactly the same. Layer 1, uh, so layer 7 through to layer 13 copy. Now I should be able to drag them all together. Now I would like these the other way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover with my move tool by the corner, which will turn it into rotate. Rotate it around to where I want it. And drop it there. So now I want to create some text. I'm going to go down to the text tool here um, and use horizontal type tool. That should be the default. And just like in Publisher, you're going to click and draw a box where you want your text to be. And inside, I'm going to type my title, Melon Madness. Up here, is where you can change the colour of the text. So say I want it to be white. That's where you could change it. You'd have to highlight it first. White. I think maybe I will go white. You could change the shape of it here. Give it an arc, a bulge, shell out parts, make it a different shape. I'm going to leave it as it is. The text what type of text and what size. Once I'm happy with the text, I'm going to again rotate it because I want it on a jaunty angle for Melon Madness. Use my Move tool and place it on the camera I want it. I'm going to go in the middle. What I'm going to do is add the pips of the melon so that it's really clear that that's what I'm trying to do, make it look like a watermelon. So I'm going to go over here to my brush tool. This is where you can draw on it. If you click here, you can change the size. But at the moment, I've got a really big brush. I'm going to create a new layer by going down here to new layer so that I can draw on this. At the moment, I've got black selected if I want to change the colour. I do it here. But that's not what I want. I'm going to change the size of my brush to do some smaller ones. I'm just going to click wherever I want them for my pips. I'm going to do a few larger ones. And that's it. My Melon Madness can.